Hey guys, Black Bolt here. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe and healthy. So the purpose of this video is to talk about the Chevy Bolt EV fires and the recall that has ensued and some of the remedies that we can do. And um, the reason I haven't previously released a video on it is I wanted to gather as much information as possible so that I am not sharing bad information. After talking to my dealer, I came to the conclusion that I am going to go and get the recall done and I have it scheduled for Friday morning the 11th at 7 a.m. So I will have a follow-up video for you guys on what all changes with that recall software update. But um, I'll get into the reasons why I decided to do the recall instead of just using Hilltop Reserve to later on in the video. GM has confirmed that there were five instances of fires that could be related to the high voltage batteries and that is what sparked the recall. The recall affects 68,667 Bolt EVs that were built between 2017 and 2019 including 51,000 of those in the United States and these are only the ones that were built in Korea and that is why some 2019 model years are excluded from the recall and the way that you find out whether or not your Bolt EV is recalled is by using the VIN number. Um, I have mine a notification in my app but I will leave a link down in the description if you want to check whether or not yours was recalled. So five cars out of 68,667 catching fire doesn't sound like that big of a deal. It's seven one thousandths of a percent or dot zero zero seven percent so it's a really minuscule number but because of the type of issue it is um, after giving it some thought and speaking to the dealership I decided that it was best for my family to get that recall done even though I often charge my car to full and it's kind of been an inconvenience to not have full range for me. 99% of my charging takes place between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. overnight so if the car was to catch on fire there's no way that my family would even be aware of it until the fire reached the second floor of our house and that's too big of a risk for us to take especially seeing as there's no way that we can really safely jump out of our windows without breaking some limbs and I have some very young kids that I definitely want to minimize the risks to their safety and health. When I got to the service area of the dealership the gentleman who helped me was very nice but he just kept on insisting that I get the recall done without explaining to me why if I could just use Hilltop Reserve and I showed him on my app that my car was only charging to 88% capacity and he eventually he relented and printed me this safety recall document and um, I'll, you can pause it and read the whole thing if you want but the interim repair is basically that um, the maximum state of charge of the battery will be reduced to 90% and mitigates the risk of the condition described below and at the bottom of the letter you can see that the condition um, which potentially causes these fires only happens in batteries that were built by LG Chem at their Ochang Korea factory. As an interim remedy, dealers will reprogram the hybrid propulsion control module to, to limit pull charge to 90%. Being a tech guy and a nerd, I pushed back and pointed out to him that Hilltop Reserve set at 88% is actually lower than 90%, so in theory it should be safer, and after going back and forth, raising his blood pressure and his him raising my blood pressure, he eventually relented and basically told me that the programming on the module itself is faulty, and that's why they were changing the software. Now I don't know how true that is if he just wanted to get me out of there, but in this bulletin, when you read it carefully, it does say that this interim repair reduces the maximum state of charge, blah, 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 and mitigates the risk of the condition described below. So it's not just capping your battery capacity, it's actually doing something else to the module. And that is the fundamental reason why I decided that on top of just using Hilltop Reserve, I am going to get the recall done because it does change something to the module outside of simply capping the um, the maximum charge. Another thing to note is that this is an interim repair and even after the software update is completed 
this recall is going to stay in the open status. Now this part is pure speculation on my part. I'm thinking that it's that hybrid propulsion control module 2 that is eventually going to be replaced when they come up with a permanent fix so that we can have our full range restored. I know some people have speculated that maybe they would get the whole battery replaced with the one in the 2020 Bolt EV, but I think that's highly unlikely. I think that the hardware issue is going to be something that happens outside of the battery itself. So that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. Um, the community is growing and I appreciate each and every single one of you. So if you haven't already, Please like, comment, ask your questions, and most definitely subscribe to the channel for further information. And once I get that recall done, I will post a follow-up video um, which kind of details what exactly happened and what changed. One more thing, guys. I had a wonderful, exciting conversation with a sales rep who specializes in electric cars, and he has my wife and I on a list to share information regarding the 2021 Chevy Bolt EV and Chevy Bolt EUV. And as you know, there's going to be a redesign of the Bolt in the upcoming model year, and the EUV is a crossover that's going to be bigger than the Bolt, and we are especially excited for that one. So whenever we get information on that, we are going to share it with you. We, um, when we get our next electric car, we're hoping that it's going to be a Chevy. So we want to see how serious GM is about the Bolt and the Bolt EUV and whatever other models they have coming up in the future. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and we'll keep you posted.